you know, um, worse than constipation, which we're adding milk of magnesia, seems to be better this time. Is getting there. So, okay, great. I was always fascinated by science and asking questions and answering questions. And I also really loved helping people. That's how I ended up in pediatrics, is that sort of joy of seeing someone get better or helping a family feel better about a situation. I'm Tregany Simino, and I'm a pediatric pulmonologist at Boston Children's Hospital. So it sounds like she's been doing really well. Yes. Okay. <laughs> she's getting so strong. <laughs> tired. When there's something wrong or isn't going well, especially related to feeding, that's very distressing to families. So many kids get viruses and they will cough for a week, and that is normal. But it is those kids where the cough never goes away, that wet, junky-sounding cough. Those are red flags to say maybe there's something else happening here and maybe it should be evaluated. What we have to try to differentiate is, is it a cough that might just be asthma or is it a cough that's more related to their swallowing function or their GI tract? Interesting. I still think there's some increase in these areas. Let's look at her swallow study. The greatest satisfaction we have is seeing a child who had swallowing difficulties or was having recurrent respiratory infections come back and, and be better and be able to take things by mouth, be able to go off to preschool and drink thin liquids from a sippy cup. You know, those things are really huge accomplishments for families. That really provides me with a lot of satisfaction in knowing that we've helped that child and that family get to that place. Yeah, that's beautiful. <laughs> Good job.